You are now tuned in to this motherfucking mic and these motherfucking lips to give you she gets a pie. My name is She and you can find me at She and be pot and suck. Y'all see the title. It says hot bodysuit crotch because I want to talk about it. Y'all do not understand the steam that be coming off of my crotch and other women in this world when we wear bodysuits in order to look like our shirts are not coming undone in order to look like we have it all together in our clothes. But we really don't. Women are really hot. Women are really sweating while they get dressed to look a certain way for the public. And I want to tell you about it because y'all think it's easy. Y'all think it's nothing. Y'all think it's the same as when men get dressed. And it's not. Because we have to buy more. We have to present more. We're expected to look a certain way. And if we don't look a certain way, that we don't have it all together. And jobs have a higher expectation of us. And when we walk around the motherfucking office, we have to make sure our nipples aren't showing. We have to make sure our cleavage is showing too much. We have to make sure our dress isn't too short. We have to make sure our stockies are not ripped. We are uncomfortable in these fucking heels. <laughs> While y'all get to wear slacks, an undershirt, a button down. Maybe y'all went to the barber. Maybe y'all didn't. Some regular ass socks and some dress shoes. And you got your wallet in your back pocket and a small bag and you in the office. We carrying so much shit. We carrying shit just in case shit happens. Why? Because we have a motherfucking vagina and titties. And I want to talk about it. And y'all see the title, so put on your headphones. Do not blame me for if your HR manager hears and says, um, can you come to my office? It's not my fault. This is She Gets a Pod. What's up? <laughs> Men tuck in their shirts to look cleaner and presentable. Women moved up. Yeah, we moved up. We wear bodysuits now. So when our boobs move or we sit down, nothing shifts in our top because it's secured with a snap like a baby onesie. Where? In our crotch. Now, if you're a thick thigh woman like myself and you got some yeans and your thighs be running, rubbing together, not running, things are going to get hot and steamy. Down here. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get warm throughout the day, throughout the night. Body suits come in tanks, long sleeves, short sleeves, and cutouts. A lot of men don't know this, but you really think this woman has her shirt tucked in all day and it hasn't moved? She doesn't. She's wearing a bodysuit and she's hot. And her boobs are hot. And she has a bra on under that hoe. If she's at work, if she's being professional. Some women do not put on a bra when they put on a bodysuit. They just put on a bodysuit. And if you see a nipple, you see a nipple. Okay? So just think about this. Think about how we are stacking layers in order to look a certain way for the public. So we got panties and we got a bodysuit. And some women don't wear panties with their bodysuit. But I wear panties with my bodysuit. So we got panties, a bodysuit, skirts, shorts, or pants. Or tights. That crotch is hot. And I want to talk about it. I want to talk about how that shit is hot, how that shit is steamy, and how we are feeling oppressed in our clothing. Okay? Welcome to She Gets a Pop. <laughs> I truly do not think men understand the sweat and hard work it takes for women to snap that motherfucking bodysuit on and off throughout the night when they have to go pee. It is a struggle. And don't let she have drinks in her. When I went out, the rare times that I did go out, um, I want to say this was for Ed's uh, 40th birthday. My old manager from The Gap, he had invited me to his 40th birthday party. 
and we went to um, a cigar lounge here in Atlanta. And it was nice. People dressed nice. It was nice. But I'm not a drinker. And when I drink, drinks go straight through me. So I must have took like three trips to the bathroom. And I was wearing a bodysuit. And honey, each time it got hotter, it got steamier. And I was just like, uh-uh, I'm ready to go because this is too much work. This You start off snapping one, two, three buttons. Snaps. And then throughout the night and you're using the bathroom, you might snap too. And then it gets to a point where you're just like, fuck it. This is too much stretching. I'm hot. I'm a little tipsy. I'm going to snap one of these hoes. And you are out there in a skirt or or some pants on survival mode and hoping it doesn't snap and open up. And now you tucking in your front and your back of your bodysuit. Like, it is so frustrating. But men don't understand this. Men don't know what we go through. The hot sweat between thighs while we wear cute fits is not cool. We be going through it with drinks in our system i got thigh high meat okay and it's real down here and i'm not talking about austria okay trying to snap the clips is hard as fuck when it's hot when you done have some drinks and when the bathroom's packed and you trying to not sit on the toilet seat because you're not at home. And you're trying to make sure you got tissue and you balancing on heels. It's a lot going on. A tucked in top comes with its cons. It might look cleaner. It might make you look slimmer. And it's easier to throw on. But it comes with its cons. Women clothing is way more of a struggle than men clothing. And I'm going to break it down for you after these messages. Yo, yo, it's Table Topics time. My name is Shan and I got Table Topics here. Why? Because I am a brand ambassador and I'm going to let y'all know what the deal is. What is Table Topics? Different categories, different topics to talk about, bring about conversation and discussion with whoever you want to have a discussion with, okay? The stack I have here is the what would you do stack from Table Topics. If you go on tabletopics.com, you can put in my code SHANBEEPODDEN in all caps for 15% off your own stack. All right, I got two questions. Here we go. If a species of fish is on the brink of extinction, will you order it at a restaurant? No, I will not. I do not order fish at restaurants because a lot of these restaurants, they're very cheap and they try to spend your money and they don't even have the fish that they have on the menu. They have some bootleg ass fish that they're serving you. And most of the time when you do order fish and you don't know the restaurant that well or the cook, they might not even cook it correct. And I don't know about you, but I do not want seafood poisoning from a fucking restaurant that I spent my money at. So no, I will not be ordering fish. Next question. Are the world's ethics evolving or devolving? I think Social media is bringing about balance. I think the world's ethics was always what it is now. We just get to view and see it more because we have more exposure due to IG, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, uh, threads, spill. Um, just, it's, it's so fast to upload video of what's wrong in the world that it just looks like it's a lot more wrong in the world than good in the world. And I think that's what it is. But back to the show. Let's review a review. This is a new segment right here. I added a review segment because I want listeners to tell me their thoughts. I want to know what you think because what you think matters and I appreciate your time listening to this show. So the review section will be me picking a new review of this season off of Apple I don't even know how you can see your reviews on Spotify because I can't get to it. I don't know how you get to it. And I'm going to try to research to find different reviews that are new, that are current, and read them on the show, okay? You can ask me questions. You can give me feedback, good or bad. And I want to answer it on the show. Put a name on there that you can identify with. It doesn't have to be your real name on your... ID. It could be whatever name you make up. 
because I know that my podcast for She Gets a Pod shows up twice. Cozy Boom Podcast shows up twice. That's a war between Apple and Spotify because I told them, hey, go ahead and fix that. They're like, oh, no, that's Apple's problem. Oh, no, that's Spotify's problem. So they don't want to solve it. So if you see it on there both, I don't care which one. I'm going to look for the most current one. And I'm going to read it on the podcast for each episode that I do. Okay? I appreciate all of them. I want new reviews. Thank you. I'll read them here. Now, let's get into this new table topic stack. (laughs) All right. So, I'm going to break down the basis of men getting ready versus women getting ready. Okay? And this doesn't mean you're particularly going somewhere important or... Um, whatever. It's just like the basics of what we deal with on getting ready versus what a man may deal with. So for the men, because it's shorter, the men, your focus is your haircut, whether you got one or not. And if you didn't get one, you probably going to brush it down. Okay. Moisturizing your body. Some of y'all, because some of y'all, y'all hands look like y'all been breaking bricks all day y'all don't moisturize y'all elbows your face looks crusty and your lips is chapped all right lotion in your body please do it you either wearing a wife beater a tank or a shirt you got a main shirt deodorant cologne boxers pants or shorts or socks shoes a watch and you worried about filed and clean nails Ooh wee what a struggle <clears throat> let me tell you about women when we get ready women got to focus on our hair which costs money earrings makeup money nails money bra money top certain panties for certain things that we're wearing pants Skirts, shorts, dresses, stockings, tights, lotioning, watches, bracelets, shoes, and what kind of purse we're going to wear. It's a lot. It's a lot. And all of our things are way much more money than it is compared to men's shit. So we spend more money getting prepared to give you our time. The least you can do is be a gentleman. The least you can do is pay for the drinks. The least you can do is pay for the dinner. The least you can do is pay for the activity. The least you can do is have good discussions when we're giving you our time. So maybe women be expecting more from men because the demand on us requires us to do the most to even get ready to leave the motherfucking house. It's just more. Our products for our bodies to be presentable, to smell fresh for y'all, cost more. So, men, sometimes it's not that we feel entitled. We just doing a lot to look good and to be attractive. And if we give you our time and you ask for our time, understand that. That's it. We got hot crotch out here. Just to look good. Just to look good. And some of us, yeah, we we try to look good for women because some of us like women. But for me, I'm trying to look good for me. I'm trying to be comfortable. And I don't want you to have to say anything about what I got on. So I have to make sure I come correct. And it costs money. So yeah. Please pay. Please put the gas in the car. You know, please be a gentleman. My mm-hmm. Yeah. Please make it worth it. Jeez. Thank you for checking out this episode. It was a quick one, to the point. But I wanted you guys to understand that we are out here suffering with hot crotch and bodysuits to look seamless, clean, presentable for y'all. You're welcome. Peace. <laughs>